Adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, is the main form of stored energy in cells. It is the currency of biological energy in every living thing. We're going to walk our way through what ATP is, where ATP is synthesized, how ATP is recycled in the body, where we get the starting materials, and what functions require the use of ATP. In order to understand how ATP is synthesized and used, we first need to know where it is located. Every living thing is made up of cells. Different cells have different jobs that they carry out, but virtually every living cell requires the energy of ATP to carry out their specific jobs. Each cell makes its own ATP, and the majority of ATP production is done in the intermembrane space of the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria. ATP is made up of three main parts, an adenine, a ribose, and a 3-phosphate tail. Plants can synthesize ATP from the products of photosynthesis through a process called the Calvin cycle, while animals and ourselves synthesize ATP through a series of complicated steps, glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and the electron transport chain, where the majority of ATP is produced. When ATP is broken down, the third phosphate is removed from the molecule's tail. When this happens, energy is released and the cell can use this energy to carry out different functions. Now that the molecule only has two phosphate groups remaining, it's called an adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, di meaning two. This state is considered low energy. In order for the cell to create more energy, the ADP must be recycled. You can think of ATP like a rechargeable battery. ATP is like a full battery with lots of energy available, while ADP is similar to a dead battery needing to be recharged. But how do we do this? Your body needs to get the appropriate nutrition in order to make the most of its APD production. You can do this by eating foods that are high in complex carbohydrates like breads, grains, and pasta, and from foods high in protein like meat, eggs, and nuts. Cells break these down into products like glucose that is then turned into ATP. If you're not giving your body the nutrition it needs, it'll break down things like muscle tissue in order to make more ATP. So why is ATP so important? ATP is used for obvious things like muscle contractions while working out. It's used by plants to grow. It's used to move macromolecules in and out of cells. It's used to build amino acids and proteins that carry out cell functions. It's used in the transmission of nerve impulses in our brains. ATP is the energy we all need to carry out the functions of our everyday lives. 